Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is hit create design and then go over to the search box and type in YouTube channel art. So this is why I love Canva. They have a ton of predetermined dimensions that you can use to basically create anything that you need for social media. So I just went in and typed YouTube channel art and then I also wanted to let you guys know that I already uploaded the YouTube channel art template from Google which you will need. So just go into Google and type in YouTube channel art template and this photo will pop up and you can upload it to Canva and then you're going to need to drag that over and make it fit into your dimensions. So then I just went into elements and went over to shapes and I'm just going to pick this square. This square has no frame on it. I like to use this one to just fill in the entire area we have there. And I'm also going to turn down the opacity and make it a little bit more transparent so we can see that template through this square. And for my channel, I want it to be a deep kind of sage green. So I'm going to go over here to the left after I turn down the transparency. And I'm going to change the color to a sagey green and that's what it will look like on my channel. So then I'm just going to go over to text and add a text box. This is where you can put your channel name, your logo, and whatever else you want on the top of your channel in your channel art. So basically you can click any of those heading choices at the top there. And I'm just going to put my first and last name, which is basically the name of my channel. And then I'm going to go down and choose a font. I like Magnolia Script. I think it's really pretty. And I'm also going to change the color and the size. So I like the heading or the title of my channel, which is my name, to be the biggest. So you guys will see that I adjust that a few times. Um, and I'm also going to center it right in the center of that text and logo safe area. You want to make sure that everything that you're putting on your channel art is in that little box there um, that you can kind of see through that green. Or else it's not going to show up um, on a phone or tablet um, or a computer. So. I don't know why they, they do this, but you have to follow that template. So then I'm just adding some other little, like a short description. Um, I just put fashion, lifestyle, and social media success, and I'm also turning that white and just kind of changing things around a little bit here and there. And then I'm going to go over to my uploads again after I switch this around, decide where I want it. You guys will see I'm, I do that quite a bit. Um, then I'm going to go over to uploads. Actually, I decided I was going to go to elements and add a frame. So this is really important, especially if you kind of want to create a logo look. You're going to go down to frames here. And I just chose the circle one. Um, I like the circle frame. I think it's nice and clean looking. And I'm just going to scale it down and move it over to where I want it. And then it's really nice that they have this feature that has frames because you can just take a photo from your uploads and once you drag it over into that frame, it just fits itself really nicely into that frame as you guys will see in just a second. So just drag it over until it kind of sinks into that frame nicely. And then I also wanted to add this little greenery um, frame around my logo. I just got this on Google as well. I just typed in watercolor greenery, transparent background, and this popped up. So you're just going to arrange it around your photo. This is just in fast motion me making sure everything looks good and how I want it. So then I just decided to add my Instagram handle as well. I just got this little Instagram um, logo from Google. So all you have to do is just type in Instagram logo transparent background on Google and something like that will pop up and you just download it into your or upload it into your uploads on Canva and then just drag it over. And I'm also going to add another text box with my Instagram handle right next to that little Instagram logo. Also making that white and sticking with the theme of the rest of my channel art. And that is basically it. All you have to do now is drag the little colored box down and you're going to delete the template underneath.
So now that I have my channel art exactly how I want it, I'm going to go over to the download button and I like to stick to the PNG format. I think it's really nice and high quality and just hit download. So this will download to your computer pretty quickly and you can bring it right over to your YouTube channel. So now all you have to do is go over to your YouTube channel, click on the edit button for your channel art, and upload your new channel art. And it's really pretty simple. Um, I just also like to check to make sure that the crop is correct and everything's in line. So you can click this button here, adjust the crop, make sure everything looks good, and then hit upload, and your channel art is changed. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!